Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and today we're making ube crinkle cookies. I ate this a lot growing up, and it's my favorite kind of cookie because they're soft on the inside and have a bite to them on the outside. Now, this will be my first time making these, so I'm curious to see how it turns out. I'm going to start by preparing my dry ingredients and lay them out neatly, and it always makes it easier to bake or cook when they're all measured perfectly. I'm going to add sugar and room temperature butter into the stand mixer on medium high until the mixture is light and fluffy. While that runs, I'm going to whisk together all purpose flour, baking powder, and a bit of kosher salt. Then I'm going to get rid of any clumps of my powdered sugar so that my cookies will have a smooth coating to it later on. I reduce the mixer speed to low and I'm going to add a large egg. Let that beat until they're all combined while I scrape down the sides. Then it's time for the main ingredients. I'm going to add ube jam, ube extract, and vanilla extract. I'm making sure I'm handling the ube extract very carefully because it always leaves a tough stain behind whenever I spill. I find it very satisfying getting to watch the batter slowly turn purple since it's one of my favorite colors. Now I'm going to gradually add the dry ingredients, beating on low and continuing to scrape down the bowl just to make sure everything is mixed well. I'm going to cover the dough and refrigerate it, which is a crucial step because it makes the dough easier to handle when forming later on. I will let that refrigerate for two to three hours and it's time to watch some Formula One in the meantime. I'm going to use a three tablespoon cookie scoop to shape the cookie balls, dropping them directly into the bowl of powdered sugar. It's really fun tossing them in it until they are generously coated. Then onto the baking tray they go. Looking back, something I should have done is to shake the excess sugar off so that the cookies don't spill any of them later on. I'm going to arrange them on the baking tray while making sure to place them at least 3 inches apart. Then I'll place it in the middle rack of the oven and let it bake for 12 to 15 minutes. My cookies turned out to have some burnt spots on them and some melted sugar on the top because I placed the tray a little too close to the top of the oven. Learnings for next time. The cookie was very soft when I took a bite, but I was supposed to let it cool for several minutes. I was just really curious to see what it tasted like. When I tried another bite later on, the exterior was a bit more solid, but the cookie was still soft on the inside, which gives me the perfect combo. So if you're making this, let it cool first after baking. I was amazed at how these cookies got their crinkle pattern from just baking in the oven. I had no idea it would be this simple. When I would eat these as a kid, I always thought whoever baked them would draw those lines on the cookies. But now, after making them, I guess all it took was shaping the dough and letting them bake. And that's how it gets its crinkle pattern. That is it for me today in this video. Thank you so much for watching and sharing your space with me here at our virtual table. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below what your favorite Ube product is or 
what you thought of this video. I'll see y'all in the next one.